Sorry about that, Mr. Schuster. Um, Sorry if I caused it. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. It's, people don't testify every day. Just, um, I know that there's a lot of things that you want to share, and I'm going to, I'm going to get to them. All right. I just ask you to try as best you can when I'm asking a question to narrow it just to that specific area. Sorry. And then we'll move on, okay? Um, did you learn early on that Nick was adopted? She, yes. Uh, during the introduction, she mentioned it. Myla mentioned it, and she said they're adopted. Okay. I kind of misunderstood what she was saying, and I assumed that Nikki was the natural son and that Zach was adopted, but I was wrong. They were both adopted. Okay. Now... When you were living in Miss Miss Risey's place, did you actually get to know the Cruz family and spend time with them in their house or anything like that? No, not at all. Okay. And I think when you were talking earlier on, you said it was mostly observational that you saw them. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. And where was it that you observed them from for the most part? They played out in front of their house, and I was in the driveway working on my motorcycle directly across the street from them, and I could hear them playing and and just doing their thing. Okay. And was that something that you do you did quite frequently, working on your motorcycle? Yes. Right. It's, yes. And did you ever see um, Nikki and Zach when you were going and coming from work? Yes, quite often. I would see them when they were walking down the street going to school. I would see them, and we kind of had the same schedule where they were walking down the street when I was going to work. Okay. And did you ever attempt to speak to the boys when you were on leaving or coming on the street? I did, and they did not want to talk to me. They were very, uh, they just did not want to talk. They were shy and and turned their head from me and, and would not engage me socially. Okay. And that was both of them? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, I'm going to move a little bit up in time, just sort of the middle of your time there, which I think based on your time frame, mm -hmm. it's about 2011 to 2012. Is that right? Sure. Right. Um, did you see them, and when I say them, of course I mean Nikki and Zach, did they do things like skateboard or bike? They did. They always played out in front of their house uh, with with other kids on the block. And they're like that was their 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 place. So they played out in front of that house, and yes, then they advanced into uh, skateboarding, and they were skateboarding out in their driveway. And did you see Nikki skateboarding, or was it just that? Never. I've never. I the only thing I've ever seen Nikki do in conjunction with the other boys, he was standoff. He was never engaged with them. He was always. Offset. And if you would tell us now about an incident when you heard some commotion coming from the Cruz's house. Now we're in that mid portion of my stay in Parkland, and I'm again working on my motorcycle, and I hear a commotion. A loud commotion. And I see the door of Linda Cruz's house fly open. And Nikki came running out. What I didn't see was the door had previously opened and closed, and his mother, Linda, came out of the house and got into her uh, minivan. She's in her minivan. Then I hear, oh, then the door flew open again. 
and Nikki came running out of the house. Now, when I heard this commotion, and we're in this mid-period now, this mid-period with, with the history of, of what's going on. And I heard the commotion and I walked to the driveway thinking that I may have to intervene in something. Nikki came running out of the house and he goes to the side where his mom was in their minivan and he says, you didn't kiss me goodbye. You didn't kiss me goodbye. <clears throat> and they kissed. Linda continued to back out of her driveway in her minivan and stopped right in front of me, standing in my driveway, and she just gave me the sheepish look ever that she just was sheepish looking. Like she, she couldn't explain it of what just happened. And she drove away. Based on the age, the age that Nikki was at that point, was that behavior of his troubling to you? Uh, absolutely. Um, a, 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 this is speculation. Sustained. Now, am I right that during the same period of time is when you start noticing vehicles being at the crew's house? Yes. And can you just tell the jury what types of vehicles you noticed are being sometimes at their home? Well, the previous question about the incident of the, the noise and Nikki okay. running out of, out of the truce. It, it, Sir. Okay. Sir, you're going to have to wait for the lawyer's question and please answer the question that's asked. Okay. Let's we'll just, we'll just go with the vehicles for right now. Okay. I see, a, I saw a lot of county vehicles at his house many times. Many times I could see the different county vehicles, the white vans and the white cars and I know they were county vehicles. Let me just stop you for a sec. Did you know what entity they were from? No, I did not. Okay. But one day after one night after I saw no sustained. Sustained. Ask okay. Question. Sorry. That's all right. Did you ever inquire with Miss Linda Cruz about those vehicles? Yes, and that's how I knew that they were county vehicles, because one day, I, after the night, many vehicles were parked out in her house, and the next day I saw her, Linda, and I was teasing her, I was being sociable, and I was teasing her, and I said, hey, Linda, did you have a party and not invite me? And she just looked at me, and she just said, it's Nikki again. Did you also start noticing any other types of vehicles other than the state vehicles? The, the, and it was a common sight to see the sheriff's vehicles there as well. And that was this mid-period that I'm talking about. And when you started seeing those vehicles there, did, did there, was there, did, were they present there occasionally throughout the remainder of your time in Parkland? Yes, yes. It, it was not an unusual sight to see them there. Um, when it comes to sheriff's vehicles, do you have any sort of guess about how many times you saw them there? Six years. Um, I, I, I would guesstimate between 10 and 20. During the time that you lived at Miss Risen's place, did you ever see Nikki Cruz with any kind of gun? I did. All right. Can you tell the jury about when you saw that? Well, uh, one day, I'm sitting in my driveway working on my motorcycle.
And I see Nikki come running from the side of his house. There was a vacant lot next to their house or, or a huge property, but there was a lot of space. So he came running around the side of his house and he had in his left hand, I remember that, a gun. And he's running with this thing, just shooting any and anything, running with this thing. And he's just running, shooting at this rock out in front of his house, just as I did, just like that. Nothing static, nothing special, just spasmatic, pointing this thing. And I wondered, what the hell is this now? Is it going to be a BB gun? Am I going to get my windows broken? So then he ran around. And I went and looked to see what he was shooting. And I went to this rock, and he was shooting uh, airsoft balls. That's what his gun had, airsoft balls. So he was shooting these airsoft balls. And can you describe the way that you saw him run? <laughs> he was running like, like something I've never seen before. And the only way that I can describe the way he was running is when I saw my two-year-old grandson trying to run, trying to run. He has no coordination. He doesn't know. He's trying, no balance, no coordination. And he's just running to try to stay afoot. That was not running. It was, I don't know what you want to call it, but that's what I compare it to my two-year-old grandson trying to run when he can't even walk. Judge Zavard, if Mr. Schuessler steps down and demonstrates the way that he saw Mr. Cruz running? Um, I suppose if it would help him explain to the jury what he's trying to to describe. Do you, you think you can demonstrate sure. the way you saw him run? Sure. Would you like to see it? Now, he had this... this, this okay, so don't get so right close here. to the jurors. If yeah. you need to... Well, Where he had this airsoft. Sir, huh? sir, 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 just wait a second. Where would you like him to do this? You can just come right over here. And you want him to demonstrate you. running? Yeah, just the way that he saw Mr. Cruz running, I say. Okay, so, sir, come over by the lawyer, please. Okay. Just go right on out the back way. Is that okay, Your Honor? You can just around this way. Okay, I mean, if that's... No. Oh, no? Okay. Then just right here, Mr. Schuster. Right in front of the jury. Don't talk to the jurors, please, sir. Well, I'm going to point at him. And you, it, so he had this thing in his hand, and he's running like this. Like that. But he had this gun in his hand, and he just like that. Oh, oh okay, I think that's sufficient. Is there anything else you wanted to demonstrate? No, that's it. Okay, go ahead and have a seat, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, towards the third part of your time in Parkland, which I guess was sort of the last mm -hmm. two years, maybe 2013, 2014, part of 2015, did you see 